Let's talk about my sass. So, I started it a long, no, like, I started it by that I mean I collected my solid axle last year, last spring at some point in time. It popped up on Kijiji, not Kijiji actually, where I found it was BC Toyota 4 wheel drive. And I sent the guy a message and he was actually driving it through Cranbrook from Calgary, just happened to be. So I met him at the local Tim Hortons here and I picked it up. From that, it was probably a solid, like, six months like the fall of last year i bought the trail gear ifs eliminator kit which gives you absolutely everything you need to do the sass including knuckle to knuckle rebuild kit with all your seals all your bearings stuff like that first thing i should mention is i didn't actually do any of the welding myself i am not a welder i do not trust myself welding i have talked about this before in the past which is why i got my friend kyle to do the welding for like my gas tank uh, crossbar fix and whatnot. But let's get to it. So the front hanger, take your tow hooks off off either side here, and then you simply just get it welded to the front. It's got little, uh, what are they called, gussets up here just to support this end bracket here that the, that the leaf's actually attached to. But the rear, where the shackles are here, um, you actually have to drill a hole straight through your frame and put a tube in here and it gets welded to your frame. What I did, while the truck still had IFS on it, I paid a welder to drill this out, put the tubes in and weld that in. Same with the front. And then pretty much, I parked it on my neighbor's driveway over there. It was a different person living up there at the time, so they let me use it. Um, and I literally cut it all apart but it's pretty simple you literally like you can see still where my stock where my IFS mounted you literally like you unbolt everything is what I did in my case I do not have access to a plasma cutter I literally used a sawzall and chopped it off and then grinded it down as flush as I could for now I'm gonna do a better job than it looks now I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet so pretty much after your leaf springs are hung, you just bolt up the solid axle underneath it. I'll show you a picture of when I did that. As far as the steering setup, this is the high steer setup. Also came with the trail gear kit. It uses your factory steering box. You add the pitman arm and then put the links in. Um, these guys you put on the knuckle. I did that while it was all off and I rebuilt this whole axle on my deck actually. The one thing I did weld myself is actually the steering dapper um, hanger here. I figured that not really gonna hurt anything if I do that myself. So I did that. As I said, I paid a welder to do like the hangers. I also paid the same welder to weld my shock hoops on, but that was done after everything else was done and I got the welder to come the next weekend and he actually welded this in. Um, so here's the front drive shaft, square tube. I also paid for that to get made from one of my buddies. It's awesome, it does the trick. I mean, it's, it's loud, but you're not in for or have your hubs locked all the time, so it's all good. So if you like this video, please comment, like it, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the future, uh, what mods I should do next in my truck, what else you want me to explain about my truck, do you want to know more about the 3.4 swap, do you want to know more about the supercharger, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.